Well, some of the new features in SQL Server 2008 for report administrators are also some of the new features in SQL Server 2008 for report authors. So we're really going to see some of these up at the front here, and we're just going to kind of put these all in one single video, kind of under the same heading. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I think that the people who will benefit the most from SQL Server 2008 versus the old SQL Server 2005 are the authors. Okay, so the authors have the most to be excited about, um, but it also means that you have the most to relearn. Many of the changes in 2008 deal with making things easier to do from an authorship standpoint, which kind of makes sense. I mean, if it's a a tool built on generating and creating reports and then serving those reports, then you certainly want to make it as easy as possible to get those reports built. Okay. So let's talk about these major things. So the first one obviously is Report Builder 2.0. This is a major overhaul of the old Report Builder. Report Builder 2.0 is for the administrator and the author going to be a great boon. Uh, this is really really going to change how we all work okay so what I mean by that is it's kind of identified here um, because report builder 2.0 supports all RDL so you see this RDL here um, this is the report definition language okay? this is what the sub language uh, that the reports are actually written in their uh, RDL files Okay. Now, because Report Builder 2.0 supports all of RDL, you can now edit any report that's ever been made for SQL Server 2008 reporting services using Report Builder. You see, in the old SQL Server 2005 version of Report Builder, you're only really able to work with reports that Report Builder had created. Now you can use the fancy Report Builder to do anything. You can manage any report that you want to. And it can be installed separately from our SSRS. This can be a standalone download that someone installs. They don't have to have the full blown Visual Studio. They can just have the report builder. This is, I mean, this completely changes the game in my mind. This makes it so much easier to work with reporting services. You don't have to be intimidated by working with the Visual Studio. You don't have to be uh, worried about, do I have to install this major piece of software and then have licensing requirements with it? You just install the Report Builder. Now, a couple of other things. You've got a lot more control over what gets put on the screen. Okay, so we're talking about new chart types. Let me move that out of the way, sorry. Um, uh, lots of standard chart types. And when I say standard, they were standard in almost every other charting platform, but have now been brought into reporting services. And even some new ones like a radar chart. Uh, we're going to see a lot of different ones as we go, obviously. Uh, you can now make things a little more readable. Uh, I... One of my major pet peeves is when I'm working with a report and I ask it to spit out the labels and the labels start overlapping with one another. I'm sure if you've done any reports that you've seen that, you're going to have a lot better control about what happens now when we deal with overlaps. Uh, we have our gauges, which the, I love this. You know, It makes my reports just look a little more polished when I can have what uh, kind of looks like a car gauge, you know, your gas gauge, your speed gauge. Now you can put your reports inside of gauges as well. Now we're going to talk, we're not going to get to this probably until chapter five or six, but we're going to talk about the tablets. Okay, so the tablets is really going to be one of our advanced controls. This is one of our data regions that's going to try to perform multiple functions for us. So anytime we had a table, we can replace it with a tablex. Anytime we had a matrix, anytime we had a list, we can replace this with a tablex. We'll see. We'll, like I say, we'll play with those in chapters five and six. Now, we also have the uh, better CSS and HTML support. Uh, so this is going to make it a lot easier for those of you who want to create really, really smart-looking reports on your web or on the website. Uh, let's see, a better user interface for design. 
So when we're inside the report builder in Visual Studio, we're able to get a more accurate representation of what's actually going to get spit out. You know, you're talking about here, let me get my pen, uh, the old WYSIWYG. You know what that is, right? What you see is, that's an I, what you get. So now we're just going to be a little bit more accurate with our WYSIWYG, and then we're going to have a I think a snappier interface too than the old Visual Studio 2005 uh, as one as well. Uh, I think the Visual Studio 2008 is a faster interface too. Didn't list that here, but it's going to be a little bit better for you than 2005. Uh, let's see, better pagination, uh, better page sizing as well, a little more dynamic with the page sizing. Uh, let's see, other ways to view your reports, you can now export sub-reports and any nested charts, any nested data regions to Excel. That was something we couldn't do in 2005 easily. Uh, you can also export to CSV. Uh, so if you get some fancy data and you want to load it into Excel and email a report to someone, now you export it to CSV and create your report. Uh, do whatever you need to uh, as easily as just choosing export. Uh, better processing of large reports. We have what is called on-demand processing here. This is for the report admins. Uh, this means that if you deal with a particularly large report, you can specify that each page is processed when it is viewed. As opposed to, hey, I want to go process this 1,000-page report all at once, and nobody ever views more than the first three pages. Now you can specify you want the report rendered and processed as the page is viewed. Now, for the number one, all-time greatest feature in Reporting Services 2008, I don't have a drum, so I hope a robot <laughs> works. The all-time greatest feature, not to drag this out or anything, you're now free to export your reports to Microsoft Word. <laughs> All right, I had a little bit of fun with that one. Um, personally, I don't really see that as being a major feature. Uh, however, the marketing folks at Microsoft seem to kind of disagree with me a little bit and think that's a major thing. I, you know, whatever. Um, it's fine. I understand how to take a screen capture and paste it into uh, Microsoft Word, but I, I get it if somebody wants to export a brand new document and load it up in there. Um, you know, it's okay. We'll actually see how to do it, and we'll play around with it a little bit later. I just kind of like to have fun, and that's with Gary Busey family there as well. All right, I tell you what, let's stop here. Uh, let's go on. Uh, in our next video, let's just talk about what's new in R2. So what does SQL Server 2008 R2 have that SQL Server 2008 does not?